morning guys um so a few videos back probably oh, five six videos back hence why i've done so many the last couple of weeks to try and play catch up i've asked about the uh the plumbing and what to install and one of my awesome subscribers christoph suggested um john guest speed fit so i've popped down the wicks today got myself uh 10 meters of that or 25 meters whatever's there can't remember 25 meters that's so more than enough to go around a boat a couple of times um some pipe fitting some joins I've done a bit of, I've used this stuff before, like I said in previous videos, doing house um, extensions. And it's awesome stuff, but I pretty much just forgot how to use it. So I've done a bit of research last night using the joys of YouTube. Amazing stuff. Um, so at some point in the very near future, that'll be coming into play. I've just done a bit of um, corking and a bit of filling around some of the imperfections, a bit of sanding, taken from the high spots, filled the low spots. So I'll just give that a little while. And later on, I'll come back down, just do a final quick, quick sand over, um, quick hoover up, quick clean up, and get a second coat of primer on there. I'm also looking at, so you go on a marine superstore, you know, marine shops, and look for a boat hatch, boat window, whatever it may be. So, oh, yeah, no dramas, four or five hundred quid, it's like that. A bit of plastic that's on a hinge with a rubber seal on it. You go on eBay, and they're a very similar thing for 45 quid. Um, the one I've seen, the opening is about the same width, it's probably about from here to here, and probably there to there. Um, just there's a, The height is a little bit less than what I'd get open in this, but the width is pretty much there. Um, and what it is, it's made to sandwich into on the fiberglass on the hull of the boat. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give myself a bit of a perspex, cut it to the size that I want it, and then cut the hole out in the perspex and try and flex it onto that. I mean, on eBay they're 40, 40, 45 quid, something like that. So I'm gonna order one, try it, you know, take a, take a blade to it, chop it up, see if I can make it work as to how I want to make it work. Um, if I can, happy days, you know, I'll get it done, I'll get this in, I'll get these other windows done. If it doesn't work, then I'll go back to the drawing board. But for 40 odd quid, it's worth a, it's worth a punt. See if I can make it work or not. Um, you know, if it comes and it's no good for that purpose, and I'm pretty sure I can put it to good use somewhere else on the boat or give it to someone else in the club. Um, yeah, so that's my, where I'm gonna roll with that. I've got to disappear now. I need to go and look at the starter motor on the dredger. So we've got an old dredger that's sort of been handmade, big, bastardized thing that's going to get craned in when I get craned out um, and the starter motor makes a horrendous grinding noise and I went to look at it the other day and the starter motor sort of sat like that so it's on some it's sort of oh, it's, just, it's not the correct starter motor it's on the spacers and now it's sat at an angle so it's completely missing the flywheel and making a horrendous noise so to help the guys out I'm gonna nip up there in a minute pull the starter motor off and check for any any damage um, if it's pretty uneventful, obviously I'll just continue my video. If there's anything uber interesting, I'll bring my GoPro up there and I'll capture a few bits and pieces. But I'm going to go and rip that off now and I'll, uh, I'll speak to you in a bit. Cheers guys. Hey guys, follow my journey as I drag my beautiful old cat kicking and screaming into the 21st century. Uh, a lot of the jobs I'm doing, completely first time, I'm a complete novice, learning as I go. And hopefully some of you guys can learn from some of my mistakes. Some of it's worked really well, and some of it is absolute sheer craziness, but somehow I've still managed to put it off. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button if you'd like to uh, follow my progress. Hey guys, I've been a busy boy getting ready for the, uh, the crane out. So the tender is all bagged up and good to go. Took the sheets off the, the foresail and just tied that up. Um, yeah, completely removed all that. That's still got to go back to the garage. And then just out here, not, not nothing to do with the crane out, but I need to just quickly grind this down, sand down all the high bits. Um, and then I'm going to give out here a good wash out, give it a good clean up, ready for the, uh, for the big lift. I tested the engine earlier. So I haven't started that for ages, so I've got to crank it over, got everything, make sure everything's all fine to drive around there. That's all good. 
my water tank I've resealed, which is, you can see it over there in front of the boats. It's just hanging over the pontoon full of water. It's been sat there for a couple of hours now, so I'll check in a minute, make sure it's not leaking. Um, and what I've also done for the last quite a while now is a bit of painting. So, second coat of uh, epoxy primer on there. So it's looking a bit more solid. This bulkhead here has now got its second coat, make it a nice solid white. What I've also done, just to go crazy, is the bottom uh, lockers along there. It's painted all that out, including the base here. Um, a, because I was super tight and I had a dirty brush, I thought I'll make the most of it while I've got a dirty brush. But also, I do want to get on and get this side of the galley put to bed. The top half, I've still got to do my um, filleting and tabbing and top shelves. I need to get this back on there to measure out the top one and draw the lines so I can work out exactly what I'm going to do back in Bogner to make the apertures um, and then make the wooden surrounds and all the stuff like I've done here this side so I need, to, I need to do that but now I'll wait for that primer to go off so I can drop this in very 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 near future I do want to start making the framework for the chair because um, because you know I live on here now I've got nowhere to actually sit down, so people think I'm mad because I'm working all day every day. There's a reason for that. I've got nowhere to sit down. So at some point, the work's going to... Say at some point. At some point in the future, there is going to be less work to do. And I need somewhere to sit down, chill out, watch telly, read a book, whatever it is. Um, so I need to start considering that very soon. Morning guys. Just spent the day shifting boats and cradles and stuff. I'm ready for crane out in three days time so stressful stressful um i've packed my tender up that's all gone the old outboard i'll get rid of later them big strips i used when i was covering the work to get all that off and just get rid of any loads of like, the excess weight that i've got in here i've got some weight like actual like exercise weights sat on here that <laughs> not necessary at the minute so i'll get rid of them but anyway i've tuned in for is what we're going to try and do today is get these badges on so they're just like Wix, B and Q specials, whatever they are. Um, just curtain rail, so one will fit on there. So I chop that to length in a minute and attach that. The other one, what I'm going to do is chop it into two lengths. So I'll have, I hope you can see that with the sun behind it, one like so, and then the other one cut at an angle and return like that. I think, you know, you can get the, the little bits and pieces that you need to attach on these. You know, you buy them extra, hopefully. So I'll make some measurements now, I'll make some cuts, get them attached on. And that way, I'll get my little notepad out. I'll make some sketches of the size of the curtains that I need. And then probably tonight, over a pint, I'll take my sewing machine up to the club. Um, and see what comes out. <laughs> so, don't expect to be impressed, but it'll 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 make it a lot more privacy for me myself and when I've got people here sort of of an evening. But yeah. I'll see how that goes. What I'm gonna get on with now, well once I've done that, is I'm gonna get the first coat of polyurethane 2K on here. So I need a bit of a tidy up, move some stuff out of the way, get it all coated out in uh, 2K polyurethane. Let that kick. While that while that's going off, I'll start doing outside stuff, moving out boards, getting that all chucked up to the truck. Um, and then by the time I've done that, it's time to come back down and do a second coat. Um, yeah, and that bulkhead as well there as well, sorry. Get that all 2K'd out. So this side, to a degree, minus that bit, which is my pain in my ass at the minute, um, we should be good to go. Hey guys. I haven't really achieved much since my last time I tuned in a few seconds ago, but cut these, screwed them in. Uh, that join there isn't perfect, but the idea is one curtain's here, slides up, slides down, bang, bang, and then that side can peel back that way. I'm going to put a little hoop on there, and I'll put a little hoop on here just to keep it tied back if I want to. And if it all goes wrong, I need to pull it over here or something. These do pass through, 
not perfect because it's not uber great but you know if i want to i can pull him across happy with that get some measurements and uh get my old, old lady's hat on later and do some sewing and we'll see how that turns out i'm gonna do the front for now and then hopefully if that goes well i'll do something for the side here and that little back window a little curtain there or a little um blind or something just pop a black out in here um yeah and then after that be the girl's side but yeah i just want to show you that cheers guys hey guys i've got a shiny white girly wow 80 percent of it so there's two coats of polyurethane on there um obviously up to this line then that's just shit but the rest of it nice and shiny and when it goes off super hard and that's it once that's gone off you won't need paint into that another 50 years hopefully ah bloody this bit get this bit done and i can have a nice shiny white side go in there and then deal with everything else but i'm winning guys I'll take this off. I'm winning. Uh, I'm now going to do my measurements for my curtains. So later on I can get get them knocked up. And I need to go back to Bogner, drop a load of stuff off, like my tender and stuff in the truck, drop that in the garage. Come back and uh, get sewing, I think. I was going to have a bit of a tidy up, but I've got still got a couple of days to do tidying and bits and bobs for the crane out. I've got, I've got rid of my weights, I'm going to take them back to the garage, the sheet needs to be cut, is now back of the truck. All the timbers and stuff that are in the front of the, the boat, I've taken them back to the truck. Um, yeah, so I'll get rid of all that, and I'll, have, I'll have put another big sort out tomorrow and Friday to get rid of any crap that I don't need uh, and get it ready for crane out. But yeah, I'm going to do some measuring now and put this mask back on before I pass out, and I'll speak to you in a bit. Morning guys. I'm now no sort of seamstress or tailor person, um, so it was pretty much guesstimating with a beer in my hand, with a tape measure, with some chalk. But well, one is done. I was supposed to get two done last night, but that one took me so bloody long. Um, what I've done is I've doubled it up, so I've folded it over so it's double lined. Um, and then obviously folds all the edges over, put a nice stitch along the sides and double stitching top and bottom uh, with a sewing strip sewn on. Um, you know, is it, is it perfection? No, but I tested it last night. So my LED spot lamp thing, whatever it is that. So this, you know, super bright. I had that shining from my pillow here onto there went outside, couldn't see the torch. So that is a, a super blackout curtain. Um, like I say, perfection, no. Uh, a couple of mistakes I made was when I was sewing along the tops and bottoms, I've sewn a few times across the lines where you bunch the curtains up. So like here, I'm un unable to bunch it because I've stitched, I probably could do, but I mess around later doing it, I take it off and I pull sort of two strands through at a time. But just for now, I'm, I've ballsed it up a little bit. But, which is a, uh, and there's a bit of a job as well also because up this here is taller than there. So this end can't go that way. But this end, when it folds down, it will sort of collect a little bit because it's losing its height. So when this is down like so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little sort of plastic hook thing, like stick on 3M sort of hook with a little uh, bunch, just to just to bunch it together like that. And I'll have the same on the other side, I'll bunch it together that side. But that'll be, that'll be alright I reckon. And at night time, it's not exactly gliding, but it's a... Uh, Oh, Mr. Hooker. God damn it. This is one of the joys of curtains. Messing around with these stupid little hooks. This is why I wanted to have it in a metal rail, but I just couldn't find anything 
anything suitable. That one's come off. But <laughs> I'm messing around with these a minute. I think they've orientated on the wrong way. But um, yeah, you get the idea. I think the top one's orientated right, the bottom ones are probably the clips upside down to where they should be. So I'm gonna mess around with that in a minute. Uh, I'm gonna do the other one later, so that'll be a, a later job while I've got daylight. I'm gonna get on uh, knocking these blocks out, that I've stuck these in, the little glued blocks, knocking them out. Get some thickened epoxy in the tab in there. Uh, and then I'm probably gonna head back to Bogner uh, and do my cutting out the apertures here, the wooden surrounds, all that stuff that takes forever. I'm gonna go and do that back in the garage and that should be the last, for now, big glass cutting project in there. So once I've done all that, I can have a good clean up, um, and get myself recocked, ready for stage two. So, because here is nice now, I'm not ready to commit 100% with turning it into a full kitchen yet so I'm gonna keep painting there for now but in a very near future as soon as this side is done and I've done my necessary sanding and painting etc and that's done all my DIY tools are gonna to come out of here and they're gonna sit the other side or in the in the saloon um, and I'm gonna have this here occupied with food kitchen stuff you know rather than building site stuff and try and get this all sorted as a nice I want this as a nice working living area and the rest of the boat can be a shithole minus the girls room um, and I'm also going to look at I spoke to a couple of people last night because I'm going to be making a mess doing the rest of the boat I don't want it to be a, a permanent thing but I want to get some sort of curtain I don't want to buy one because they cost a lot of money curtains like literally an old bed sheet or just you know just something even if i go and buy a single bed sheet from tesco for five quid um sew a, a, a sewing header on it and then put a little curtain track up here the temporary one and then just have it on a curtain track just so i can cover our room and the girls room um just so when i'm making a dust and doing everything else around the boat it doesn't keep coming in here uh so yeah that's 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 my future job. I'm going to mess around with these clips now, get these orientated right so they stop falling off. And then get on with my epoxy in and then go Bogner. Oh, also, when I go Bogner, on the way back, I'm going to pick up a couple of sleepers to fit, put Foxy Lady on. So it's now Thursday and Saturday, it's the big crane out day. So I'm going to sit Foxy Lady on a couple of sleepers at one under each keel. Um, but that'll be a completely different, probably the next video actually, um, will be the crane out and seeing what she's like underneath and that'll be a whole different set of monstrosity jobs getting the, the five years of crap off the bottom because I know i done the video before and I snorkeled under a couple of times I haven't finished it and it's probably 30-50% done uh, I, I couldn't reach the kills either so that'll be a job getting that back to back to a clean hull and working out if it's I've not seen any os osmosis um, on the, the skegs, I think they're called. They were like the epoxy coating or something was peeled off. The, the metal looked all right, but what was covering it was flaking off. Um, so I need to clean all that up. But yeah, that'll be a completely different set of videos when, when she comes out. Um, getting the outside cleaned up, scrubbed back, uh, possibly painted if I can make a polydome. We'll see, we shall see. But cheers guys, good chat everyone. Good evening guys, um, I've just been really busy today and yesterday fixing dredgers, doing jobs, sewing, um, fixing other people's boats ready for the crane out. I think Fox Lady's ready-ish, there's nothing heavy up top, everything's sort of low down, everything's in. Um, I've now got plates and cutlery and bits and bobs on here. In its rightful places. Next on the hit list is going to be getting this ta tabletop or worktop secured, you know, the woodwork, epoxy, ground down, all that good stuff. Uh, then the frontage. But what I want to show you now is I've made 
So I've basically blacked out my bedroom. I'm going to do the same for the kids with, with their stuff. But so I've got the grey material, sort of the marine type material that I made the uh, the headboards out of. Uh, it's like anti mould, anti yeah, it's it's like sort of marine type stuff. So I've made all the curtains out of that, and then as a temporary dust cover slash privacy screen, um, so I didn't want to waste a load of material because it's going to get covered in dust and everything. What I've done is I bought a single duvet set from Tesco's for six, seven pound, chopped it up, sewed it up, put a, a curtain header on it. And -da. So now I can make as much mess as I want in here. I'll do this again, I'll do the same for the kids' room. Um, and that should keep it protected. And also, I'll grab a torch. Because you won't be able to see me otherwise. So in here, you'll see them curtains are these curtains are done I made a little one for this window, the window here um, because my alarm going off telling me to post a YouTube video so this little window and this one here and a little corner one here and because of the way I've mounted it I just put a little bit of velcro bit on that corner there boom Sorry guys, I had to cancel my alarm. Um, yeah, so that's me done now. Uh, the next video should be the crane out. So hopefully I'll get some footage tomorrow of the crane out and sort of state of the underneath of Foxy Lady. So make sure you tune in for the next video to catch that. Um, please like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And if you'd like me, if you'd like me to show you my sewing type videos, uh, I haven't actually recorded it, but if, if you wanted me to, then I will, if you let me know in the comments below, but there's plenty on YouTube, sale white and all that, show you a really good way to doing it. I just sort of make it as I go along, and it oh, generally works out all right. Um, yeah, so cheers for watching guys, have a great week, and a big thank you to my patron Blue Dog Oz. Um, as I say every week, there's always room for more, uh, and I am gonna make a Amazon wish list. It's still on my to-do list, but my to-do list is like, it's like the Bible at the minute, there's that many pages in it. Um, once I'm craned out and I'm, my, the stress is off, I'll do this do list and I'll do a get it all on eBay and stuff. But yeah, cheers guys, thank you very much.